to my channel my name is Nancy and we have a hopefully not too long video today but you know how it is on my channel I like to ramble so I have been on a no beauty buying month months um, because I want to save money and also try not to you know add to the collection and also use up all my makeup and skincare but it's very tempting because I am constantly on Little Red Book or Xia Hongshu and I literally get inspired and I really want to buy like new C Beauty stuff but but I will to treat myself once I actually use up more of my products because especially with makeup I find that like you know it takes a while to actually use up makeup because I don't wear makeup every single day uh, so yeah anywho I wanted to review the viral stuff like the viral k-beauty stuff because I have a lot of stuff I buy because I get influenced or whatever actually there's more here um, but yeah I wanted to do a, a thorough not well, not too thorough review want to give like an overview and like make sure I give my two cents and like be honest with everything because you know I like giving my opinion on everything <laughs> anyway so this started I think I'm gonna just start off with some like random products at the top here so uh, in no particular order I have makeup and skincare let's go into this one first because this is the biggest thing in the bag the first thing right here is the Iliun Atoceramide concentrate cream and personally because I have normal skin normal skin I get a little bit oily around my nose sometimes um, but because it is currently winter and the climate that I live in is pretty dry uh, we have dry cold air here I have been loving this so um, I've been using it for a while now but like it feels like I'm almost done <laughs> and this is a really big package it comes in 200 mils or 6.76 fluid ounces I don't know anything about fluid ounces I just know mils so anyways it's like 200 mil and like I'm half done bare at least and I use this only at nighttime so uh, anyways I really love this stuff I don't know if you can see but the consistency is pretty thick because it is a cream I love it it feels so nice on the skin um, you can actually use this under makeup as well I only have used it a few times under makeup but again I don't really wear foundation I just wear concealer um, for like skin makeup at least so um honestly it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that it feels just super nice and soft it has these like little what's it called these little capsules but they're very tiny you can't you can barely see them i don't know if it, you can even see on camera um but yeah you can't even see on camera but they burst i know some people didn't like that um these little like ceramide bubbles but they're so tiny and minuscule i don't even notice them um, I personally really like this cream um, obviously if you have oily skin or I guess yeah oily or acne prone skin maybe you wouldn't like this as much but um, I personally don't have acne prone or oily skin hence why I really like this so if you also have similar skin type to me that's the thing about skincare is like you want to buy things that are obviously my favorite skin type don't just buy things because they're hyped and a lot of these things are like pushed on social media especially like tiktok like beauty space um, but i personally really like using this and it has definitely helped my skin texture like i don't look parched at all because i oh, use this freaking every single night obviously i bring it down my neck as well and my skin has not been feeling dry at all during this winter moving on to the next viral product that like literally everyone and their mother has talked about on the internet it's this uh beauty of Sun probiotic sun relief cream uh it's yeah it's sun relief rice and probiotic sorry it's 50 plus pa plus 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 anyways this thing has gone viral for a reason but the caveat is that i again have normal skin and it's dry right now i would not use this in this in the summer like i would not use it in the summer because it is quite not thick but it is thicker than i would say the average uh sun cream um and that's why i think it's called a sun cream right actually what do they even call it yeah they actually call it a sun cream in korean so um it is thicker so like you know 
I used to rave about like Japanese sunscreens. I still love Japanese sunscreens, don't get me wrong, but they always have like an overwhelming, not all of them, but a lot of them have a very like runny texture, which I love because I love a light sunscreen, especially in the summer. But uh, in the winter, I want something thicker. Anyways, the scent is alcoholy for the Japanese sunscreens because they're so runny. Like they're so runny and like they have alcohol in it to like kind of dilute it out and it'll like evaporate on the skin. I just know that this texture for the summer would not be it. It's not sticky though. Um, and I don't think it has left a white cast. I would say this is more suited towards normal to dry skin. Again, see, very picky when it comes to like textures of products um, because you don't want to use something that's not going to feel like nice on your skin. If you already overproduce oil, I don't think you would like this. Um, but I personally like it for my skin right now. Um, but the one product that I do like from this brand um, that I just enjoy a little bit more is this product right here and I actually enjoy two products from the line this one isn't viral but this one is I'm gonna talk about this first because this one is the viral one this is the Pudio Joseon glow serum propolis and niacinamide this one is empty because I have finished using it and I actually have a backup bottle I'm just too lazy to get it anyways it comes with it's like in this light yellow like color ambery color and i personally like this i know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this um i liked it enough that i bought a second bottle okay um and gifted it to people so i personally like it because it has propolis and niacinamide in it as well i think this is the first time i've actually really used niacinamide like as an ingredient in skincare so maybe i might feel different about this after i've tried other niacinamide products but because this is my first time using it like honestly you can tell that my skin has been getting better over the months because of using this product i haven't actually used this in the past month because i've been using a different niacinamide product but um, after I started using this, like my acne spots that have been on my skin forever slowly started to fade because niacinamide is good for, I guess, acne prone skin or skin that gets zits and acne. Um, and also the propolis in here is quite healing and then soothing for the skin. Niacinamide in general is just like a workhorse. It works for so many different properties. It's good for acne, anti-aging, kind of, and then it also works to like even out skin tone so um i really like this product i think the texture might be off for some people because it's not sticky per se but it is a gloopy texture i don't know i guess some people really don't like the like i guess thicker consistency that this uh serum has i don't mind it um but yeah some people said it doesn't do anything for them for for me i know that when you use skincare you should give it time and so like initially it gives you it does give you a glow but like in terms of like how it works for your skin it takes time and so after using the whole bottle of this i noticed that like there was a little bit of improvement on my skin um it's not a super expensive product so that's why i would recommend it if it was like a hundred bucks hell no it's not worth it but because it's quite affordable i would recommend it um again depending on how you like the texture and if you already use something that works for you that's the thing about like viral beauty skincare and stuff like that if you already have a nice cinnamide that you like using like the formulation is nice and everything and it's with other ingredients that you like don't buy it just because it's viral i bought this because i didn't have anything else that had nice cinnamide in it before hence why i bought it but if you already have something else that you like don't buy it i think that's the thing when it comes to like skincare and everything and as well as makeup if you already have something similar do you really need it? Stop. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours. Do you actually need that product? Because like that's what I've been trying to do lately is like, do I actually need this product or is it just because it's viral and I have exposure there, like exposure, not therapy, what's it called again? Like the exposure concept. If you're exposed to something like over and over again, you will develop good feelings towards it. Like just like if you think about it, if you keep seeing an image of like the celebrity constantly, you'll kind of favor them more the more times you see them and it's kind of similar to like listening to a song that you initially didn't really like but then you kept keep listening to it and you're like mm, it's actually not bad it's kind of like you know that's the concept anyways moving on uh this because this is right in front of me right now i want to talk about this this product right here 
I have recommended this before, caveat, to certain people. I bought this because it was super hyped all over the internet for years. Again, this was hyped for years. I think like since 2018, 2017, this has been, like Cosrx as a brand is popular more so in the Western world, I guess not so much in Korea. Um, but this right here was super mass marketed uh, as a good cleanser for a long time. I agree, it is a decent cleanser in a sense because it is a low pH cleanser, which I do love. I love low pH cleansers. I have another low pH cleanser, which I love more, which is the Sunjung Foaming Cleanser from Etude House. That cleanser, I prefer more than this. So this cleanser right here is their Good Morning Gel Cleanser. And um, the only thing I don't like about it is that I don't have the skin type for it. I mean, back then, I would say maybe when I was younger, in my earlier 20s or mid-20s, yeah, like this fit my skin a little bit more, but because it's a gel cleanser, gel cleansers are more suited towards people who have oily skin or people who produce more sebum. Um, so this can be a little bit drying or overstripping for my skin right now. Um, but if you fit in a demographic or like skin type for this, this would be perfect for you. I feel like this one, I had recommended it to my brother because he had had acne breakouts and like, you know, his skin is slightly more oily than mine. This is better for that. Um, the only thing I, oh, another thing I don't really like about it is the scent. So I'm not a essential oil kind of girl. Like I have a bunch of essential oils at home because people keep gifting me them. Um, but, uh, this one right here contains a lot of different extracts so there are a lot of fragrance in here um, natural albeit uh, that can irritate your skin um, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's necessarily good for your skin some people like it some people don't like it i personally don't like the scent uh, i just tolerate it and, and hence why i just keep this on my like near my sink but i only reach for it if i'm feeling like I wake up and my skin is a little bit more gunky than normal and I need to like strip the excess oil off my skin. You know sometimes after like a long sleep that you've had, like you had like the best 10 hour sleep of your life and your skin is just like over producing oil because like, you're like heating up or something. Anyways, I would use this. But in, typically in the morning, I'm really 50-50 about cleansing. Sometimes I cleanse, sometimes I don't and uh yeah most of the times it's just water and if necessary i'll use this in the morning and strictly only in the morning because uh i feel like i don't want to take off my makeup with this because with this cleanser i'm scared to get it in my eyes because it has all these different like extracts in it and it will be irritating for my eyes anyways moving on <laughs> something that is also viral i believe this is viral i don't know is this viral? Anyways, in my eyes, it was viral because I got influenced to buying this because I kept seeing this recommended in like so many different like slideshow pictures, like you know, like the like the skincare recommendation things that you see on TikTok and Instagram or whatever. Anyways, so this right here is the hydrating, what's it called again? <laughs> the matcha hydrating cleanser from B Lab. And I uh, really like this. This is a foam cleanser, it's not a gel cleanser. And the reason I like this is because it really legit smells like matcha <laughs> okay that's just one selling point if you don't like fragrance obviously don't buy something like this but for me i like this because it is a, a ph balance soothing cleanser and so with this it is not overly stripping i use this uh, actually to take off my makeup after i oil cleanse and i'll talk about oil cleansers in a minute but i personally really love this and this one has been the only cleanser i've been using at night time period like this is the only one i use um and i like it i guess one thing i don't like about it if i'm being for real is that i don't like the added like little leaf particles that they put in here i don't like that shit like take that out it would be perfect i would give this 100 percent if they didn't put those freaking leaf particles in there i understand that this is a matcha cleanser but was it necessary to put leaves leaves in here no in my opinion no i don't think so and like please why would you do that like it's abrasive i don't really necessarily like physical exfoliants but hey that's just not my cup of tea but maybe your cup of tea and oh yeah i forgot when i was talking about beauty of joseon i'll go rewind rewind like two steps back i will briefly touch upon this this is not viral at all at least i don't think so um but personally i've been liking this lately this is their like centella plus vitamin c serum 
I've been strictly using this in the morning in replacement of my favorite Japanese vitamin C um, and so far I'm liking it. I cannot really speak to this as much but I love the texture and the scent is non-offensive not too scented or anything and i like this because it's been soothing for my skin i'll give like more opinions on this and like the results from this i guess later because i literally have only been using it for less than a month i cannot speak to it and that's the thing like you got to be aware of like influencers including me back then i guess like you know when we would review skincare but without actually using it for like three months because with a lot of skincare ingredients it takes at least three months for you to actually see results and like a lot of uh, beauty influencers nowadays are talking about skincare but they have not even legit used that product for more than like two weeks and you cannot say a product works at least 90% of skincare products you won't see it results immediately for like serums and specific uh, active ingredients like for, for example this you can see the results immediately because it's literally legit just a moisturizer actives and things like that it takes time for actually for it to work and function so you can't say you like it just because just because you can see like immediate glow because like most things will give you an immediate glow you put on a highlighter and it gives you immediate glow anywho moving on let's talk about some makeup before uh i'll round out this thing hopefully on a good note i hope let's just talk about some makeup first though uh i'm gonna grab where is it i it's in here oh yeah this is like the makeup bag that i've been bringing to work legit i don't know why i bring so much makeup to work i don't even wear that much makeup to work but i like carrying this and having like all my makeup and stuff conglomerated in one pouch isn't this so freaking cute this is by an artist called yuari so i had recently bought this like last year I say recently, but like last year was quite a while ago now. These two are the Amuse Dew tints, and I have two colors. I have right here, this is Healthy Boksonga, and this one right here is, what is it called? Pleasing. Pleasing. So I prefer, if I'm being quite honest, um, I picked these two colors because they were in my like color palette, I guess like summer color palette. I'm wearing this one right here. This is Healthy Boksonga. I personally really love this color and Pleasing right here is a little bit more brighter. I haven't worn this color as much because uh, it's literally winter right now and this one right here is really really bright. I would feel like this is perfect for summer or like spring. Just like a wash of color on the lips like you're just like very minimal makeup, right? And this one is just like, I'm a sweet girl, blah blah blah. Anyways, so what I like about these two and then I'll talk about what I don't like is that I love the formulation actually um, so I don't know if you can see on my lips right here but it's called a dew tint so it gives you a tint and it's not sticky so but the staining power is just okay so like I just tap my finger a little bit kind of comes off but it's it gives you like a little bit of a dew it's not glossy it's not matte which I like I'm not really into matte lips anymore I mean when I was in my like you know 2016 makeup era I loved matte lips but right now you can see right here it gives a little bit of a gloss a little bit of a dew hence the name dew tint and it does tint and stain I would say moderate it's not a good stain compared to the roman ones which i will talk about in a second i feel like this video is really long it's oh, i've been filming for so long anyways um for this one right here colors are great i love the colors i love the colors i picked out love the formulation and it has a little bit of a melon candy scent which again some people may like some people may not like the thing I don't like about this is the freaking packaging. Oh my god, it, this packaging has, I, I, I'm so dramatic, but it has caused me a little bit of a headache because it's really pretty, right? Because it's like, you know, angular and everything. But the problem is, you see right here, it collects product on here and it doesn't sweep away the product on the stick at all. And so what ends up happening is that there's a collection of product in the top here when you like draw out the product. And then it also collects on the side of the, the like, I guess, twisty part right here. And so legit what happens is that there's so much buildup. So what I have to do every time is I have to make sure I like scoop all the product back in there just in case. I have to scoop the product that's on the side here, the extra one, just to make sure it goes back in properly. Because what's happening is that it will collect on the side here, right? And when I close it, 
it pushes product out to the side and I think this happens if you're not careful and you're not like, I guess if this product is a little bit tedious in that sense. And so what happens is like there's product push out and it like gets all over inside my makeup bag. I wish also the packaging was just slightly smaller because I, I as even though I like like the squarish packaging, it is a little bit clunky. And then also I would say that compared to other tints in, you know, like the K-beauty sphere, this is quite expensive. I legit paid over $20 for one of these. And you're like, $20 isn't much, $20 Canadian isn't much. But to me it is uh, because I could find alternatives that are much cheaper. Anyways, I do like them. I wish they were cheaper. I wish the packaging was a little bit better and thought out. I believe they have new tints like the one that Wanyoung is promoting. Um, I think the packaging on those might be a little bit better and they're really short and uh, more compact. But anyways, lovely, 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 lovely do tints just don't like the packaging and the price. Okay, so we're moving on to these three right here. These are the Romand Glassing Water Tints. So you can see they're called Glassing Water Tints. I have them in three colors right here. I will say I am not really happy about uh, one color, that's all. Because again, it's not the formula or anything. It's literally legit just the color that I don't like. It is number one Coral Mist because I don't really look too good in this color. It's like a very like more orangey red and I realized I look better in like more cool tone tints and all these are slightly veering warm or neutral so uh, I would say the only colors I've been using um, since I bought it are number two right here red drop and then number four vintage ocean this one I use more so in the colder months because it is very a dark tone it looks great in fall. Uh, number two, I would use this. Literally, I can use this anytime. What I would do is I grab like this color right here or something, something more in, like neutral or pink, and I'll put this in the center. Um, and honestly, they are very nice because they actually stain. And so that could be a good or a bad thing depending on what you like. And they're they personally are not really sticky and they have like a good formulation right and the applicator is actually good as well as you can see on the wand here i'm really picky about this it actually scoops away the lip product from the wand which is actually really important because when you close something you don't want product to be going all around and getting everywhere right this one leaves a better like tint um or fades better um compared to the amuse ones the amuse ones tend to go away faster maybe it's legit just because i bought it in these like pinky or purpley shades um so they don't last as good but red tends to stain quite more i think that's why so you can see right here i just swatched them right here so this is one two and four um and yeah you can see i really like number two because I used to be a really red lip girly all the time, um, but not so much anymore because it, it is a really big uh, contrast for the rest of my face. Right now, I feel like my face is more harmonious when I use colors that are, I guess, similar. <laughs> um, this red is really bright, so uh, I guess it's a look still. And this one right here, I know it looks kind of like rusty on my hands, but it looks really pretty when you um, mix it and layer it. I don't know, I personally really like it. Forgot to swatch these right here. I legit, I'm so smart, oh my god. Anyway, so this one right here is Healthy Books on What I Have on My Lips Today. And this one right here, I don't know why I swatched it on the opposite side. This is Pleasing. You can see Pleasing is much more saturated. Um, anyway, so they all look pretty dewy and glossy, so. They look really pretty and they, they're not all not sticky. So anyways, uh, I'm going to move on to the fixing tints because this video is really long already. I didn't realize I was going to be filming for so long. Anywho, um, this, these two right here I have. Again, I had them the same amount of time and I had the Romand uh, tints. Um, and so these are the fixing tints from Etude House. I personally only wear this color. I don't really wear this color. This is vintage red. I'll swatch it for you. And so these have more of a matte formulation. Again, I really like this tube. It doesn't get product everywhere and doesn't leak out. So anyways, this is vintage red. It, it when you first put, so you see, there's not much shine, right? Because it's matte, it legit dries down matte. This got really popular over the pandemic. 
um, because people were wearing masks and didn't want their lip products to, you know, smudge all over their masks. And again, it does have a good staining power um, and it is matte and, and that's that's the point. It's supposed to be matte and it doesn't budge. Personally, if you eat anything uh, that has any oil in it, it's gonna remove it, obviously. Um, so yes, the staying power is great, but like if you're like me, you eat lots of like oily, not oily, but like, you know, foods that have like soups, oils and stuff like that, it's not gonna stay that long. Another viral and popular product that was pushed a lot, and I even talked about this because I really did like it too, and I still kind of do like it. This is the All Clean uh, Balm from Hamish, and this is a kind of oil cleansing balm, right? And so it comes with this, and you lift the top, and there's oil cleanser in it. I still have some in there. I'm trying to use this up, but I haven't been able to use it up because I keep reaching for this product right here. This is not K-Beauty, this is J-Beauty. This is the Softy Mole uh speedy cleansing oil and i personally like this over this right here um the reason is because of convenience it this legit is in a pump you just pump it put on your hands and it removes makeup really quickly this also removes makeup quickly but the thing is you do have to take your time with a cleansing balm i mean i take my time cleansing my face period um but I find that this is much easier because it's already in a liquid form. You do not have to melt it into your skin. This melts pretty fast too. I would say though that um, with traveling and stuff like that, I find this a little bit easier because I can decant this really easily into a bottle and then bring that bottle with me to travel. Whereas this, I can scoop this into a little like tub and everything too, um, but I find that it's a little bit more difficult. It's just more just slightly more difficult so i prefer something like this j beauty one right here versus this hamish one even though i really like this uh it's also vegan and like you know all, all these cruelty free and like you know it's quite nice but i would say for the price of what you can get it for especially in the western market i know if you buy it in like korea it will be cheaper and everything but this softy mill one this is how many mils 230 mil and this is 120 mil this one costs like legit way cheaper you get like double the product and it's way cheaper than this product right here um i know especially if you are not like you know have any accessibility to like the beauty markets like the asian beauty markets and stuff like that this is can be quite expensive on like western markets or like amazon and stuff like that and this one is a little bit more cheaper at least the way i buy it because i buy it off of savana and like places like that but yeah anyways i personally think i like this one better than this one so it's not bad i would still recommend it if you are looking for a cleansing balm i personally have used the cleansing like the vanilla coal one the cleansing zero balm like a few times it's not bad too but i prefer this one because again like the other one it comes in like this huge ass jar that's unnecessarily big it looks bigger than it actually is and it looks like you're getting more product you're actually not getting more product i prefer packaging that is you know more minimal and like less clunky and things like that minor minute detail another product that is super vile uh, at least it i thought it was viral again i don't know if you think it's viral or whatever but in my opinion it was viral right because like, i got influenced to buy this it's this one right here so this one right here is the lily by red love beam cheek balm and this is in the color two uh soon subim uh i forgot what that means but this one right here is like a pink cheek color i legit bought it in this purple color too because I got influence from Xia Hongshu and I will say I love this color I love the look of this but I legit never wear them <laughs> like um, the reasoning is because I have another product that I prefer more and so this one right here is really bright pink and it is it is quite a lot to wear for an everyday basis I only go for this when i'm going for like a dolly cute look so very specific when it comes to cute makeup and things like that like i i have to like reevaluate like why am i actually buying this stuff because like my daily makeup routine doesn't look like these like it doesn't include these because these are very specific products to use um if this is your vibe and you would probably use it every day i would go for it but for me 
no. Um, I, I do like the product so, and I wanted the cream blush and I like the texture and everything like that. Um, it's just that I don't reach for them a lot, um, especially for the type of makeup that I do right now. But I'm glad I do have them because I legit sometimes just want to look like cute little dolls so I, I would wear these. I guess this has been viral for like 5 billion years now. Um, and this is the Laneige sleeping lip mask, lip sleeping mask, and this is the berry one. So I would say it lives up to the hype. I personally did not buy this with my own money. This is a gift, okay? So I would say I like this product, but is it worth the money? No, because I personally also use uh, Aquaphor at night for my lips. This one I use during the daytime before I head out. Um, when I am at work or um, out and about, I actually don't use this because it is not sticky well it's a little bit sticky and thicker in texture i personally use the aquaphor lip repair so at night i use like the tubbed aquaphor which i personally like better this is a runner up this is the lip repair so it comes in like a stick so it's just more convenient because i ain't no way ain't no way in public am i taking this out am i taking out a tub of aquaphor as well i might buy like the squeezy tube of aquaphor so that's why i use this because I think this is kind of unhygienic if you're gonna bring this out and about with you like using your finger dabbing it in there like is your finger even clean when you use this like you know what i mean so that's why i like this it's way too freaking expensive so i cannot recommend it if you have it as a gift use it so hence why i'm using it because it was a gift it makes your lips look super glossy i know anna paul did like her lip look using literally just a glob of this and that's why her lips look so juicy and like voluptuous but like I don't know if I like, would pay 20 something dollars just for like a lip balm that like is slightly glossy. I'd rather just buy like a regular cheapo lip balm like this and uh, apply a little bit of a lip color on top of it. That's just my opinion though. It's really expensive. I cannot justify it. And uh, we're gonna end on a good note here. So this one is literally the most talked about blusher i guess in k-beauty i think this is the most talked about blusher in k-beauty this is roman better than cheek in number c02 blueberry chip and uh i believe this is hyped for a freaking reason because this is the blush i'm wearing today i know it's really hard to see blushes on camera for me because the way i edit or like my camera and my lighting and stuff like that but this is legit my favorite blush and this is a neutral tone like or slightly cool uh, blush and it is like pinky purple so it's not pink but it's not really purple either um, and or it's like I guess would you say that's a mauve <laughs> I'm really bad at describing colors but I personally really love the formula it's not too dry but it's not like creamy either and I le legit use this every day uh, that I wear makeup and I don't know it just gives you a really healthy glow and I think it would look so good on everyone I believe the hype for this one. Mind you though, I didn't just wear this today, okay? Because what I've been doing is I've been using this color underneath. I always put this color underneath. So this is the Samura Single Blusher. I like this blush for the color. The formulation is quite dry, so I, I don't like that. But it's not viral, so hence why I'm not talking about it in depth. But this one right here, these two combination, I put this underneath. What it does, it helps brighten your cheek first because it's like a very pale pink and then putting this on top and then i also put this on my eyelids as well so i use this as like eyeshadow as well as blusher and i put on my nose and i put on my chin to give myself like a healthy color otherwise i'm like freaking pale as a ghost so anyways i think that's it for now because legit this video is like a billion minutes long so i hope you enjoyed and uh hopefully um I have not influenced you or de-influenced you. I don't know. I hope I didn't convince you to buy certain products. If you have certain products already that you like, think about it before you go out and buy new products because now these products I'm just going to keep trying to use before I buy new products even though I'm like so tempted to go out and buy like new makeup or new beauty all the time. I have to tell myself like I have these good products already. Why go out and buy new ones? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good day. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Sure, Charlie Brown, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please?